This week, OpenAI just released their most powerful new model, GPT-4. Oh, and it is a massive step forward in the power of AI. In fact, we're starting to see real world power from AI. What I'm about to show you is going to absolutely blow your mind. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access GPT-4.0, what's coming, some of the most powerful features, and actually how it compares from a speed perspective to chat GPT-4. Let's go. GPT-4.0, the O stands for Omni, by the way, is the most powerful new flagship model that can reason across audio, vision, and text in real time. Now, there's a lot of insane capabilities here, and I want to go through a couple of them with you. If you're on a pro paid version of ChatGPT, you'll see the new model available now to select GPT-4.0. Notably, this is also available in the app on the ChatGPT app as well. Now, there's a lot of insane demos and features that they are promising, and I want to highlight some of the craziest ones with you here. The first one that I want to show you is how it interacts with real objects in the real world. Watch this because it's crazy. I want to introduce you to somebody. Well, hello there, cutie. What's your name, little fluff ball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, well, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. Isn't that absolutely insane? So the next feature is dad jokes. It's actually really silly, but there's a lot of cool use cases for this too. Just watch how insane this is. Hey, ChatGPT, how's it going? Hey there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And how about you? What's I'm, up? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm going to be a father real soon. Uh, and I think I can have your help with some dad jokes. Um, I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me if it passes as a dad joke. That's awesome. Congrats on the upcoming addition to your family. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain. That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top tier dad joke. I'm not sure I'd call that exactly top tier, but this is a really interesting interaction that they're pushing us in the direction of directly communicating with AI on a natural conversational tone. Watch this next clip though. Now, this is where AI is starting to infiltrate our lives. This is one of the craziest but most useful use cases I have ever seen AI be able to do. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes. I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there. Leading the way into the taxi. Safe travels. I absolutely love that OpenAI's partnered with Be My Eyes on this because this is an amazing use case to help visually impaired people move around the world and learn. But think about how you can use this model to travel, to learn about the world around you rather than having to hire a, a tour guide or ask people in public, what are the specific use cases or directions or what is this thing about? You can just interact with your own personal AI device and it gives you real world information this is multimodal. It's seeing in real time through your camera lens, breaking that information down and describing what it's doing for you. This is actually, this is completely mind blowing to me. But if you've ever dealt with customer service problems, this next use case is going to blow your mind. And one of my personal favorite things that they've mentioned is capable within this model. So I'm only going to play a little bit from this customer service because you're going to get the proof of concept. This is so cool. Hey, yo, this is Joe. I'm going to connect you to Acme Telco now. The new iPhone they sent me isn't working. 
I want you to get them to send me a replacement device. Can you take care of this for me? You can count on me, Joe. I got this. Ring, ring. Hey, Joe. This is Jamie from Acme Telco. How can I help you out today? Hi there. I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco. Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 10293849. Great, thanks. Is the device physically damaged in any way? No, there's no physical damage. It's just not turning on despite trying all the basic troubleshooting steps. Bummer. Um, would Joe prefer to return the iPhone to an Acme Telco store or ship it back? Shipping it back would be the best option. Could you please provide the shipping information and process to get a replacement? Absolutely. I'll email a shipping label and return instructions. Could you provide Joe's email address for me? I mean, just think about how much time that this is going to save you. You never have to wait for 45 minutes to talk to a customer service agent and go through that mind numbing process of shouting at them to get your iPhone repaired or, or any instance of trying to call a customer service agent. You can just give that task to your AI now and it will automatically do everything for you so that you don't have to waste your time. Now, there's been tons of apps to learn languages over the years. I love Duolingo, there's Rosetta Stone, you know, there's a bunch of these out there. But how OpenAI is tackling language learning is going to change the world. Watch this. Hey, my friend and I are learning Spanish and we're wondering if you could tell us the names of these objects in Spanish. Hola, por supuesto. Cool. What about, what are these objects in Spanish? The objects you're showing are una manzana and un platano in Spanish. Nice fruit choice. Cool. What about these? Those are dos polígrafos or dos plumas in Spanish. One That's is red. Nice. Yeah. What about this? That adorable stuffed animal is un oso de peluche in Spanish. Looks like it's ready for some hearts. If you've ever used Google Translate while traveling in a different country where you don't speak the language, you know it's a little wonky at times, right? It doesn't always do the best job. It loses some context and cadence. And if you're taking a picture of a menu, it kind of overlays that blockiness, right? This completely remedies that. This is going to connect the world in new unimaginable ways. I mean, just think about how this technology can be integrated directly into your earbuds that you listen. You know, we're all going to be able to communicate to each other, translate in real time, learn languages. This is going to completely remove language barriers. Now let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison within ChatGPT just to show you how much faster and the different level of quality that GPT-4.0 has in relation to GPT-4, which has been the cutting edge leading flagship model for about a year now. So I'm gonna do the exact same prompt side-by-side -side, and you're going to see exactly how they compare. Now I have two side-by-side -side screens here. On the left, we have ChatGPT-4. And on the right, we have chat GPT 4.0. We're going to use the literally exact same prompt across the board. So I'm just going to submit here and submit here. GPT 4.0 is done. And you can see that was significantly faster with just one task. I want to hear your honest thoughts though. What do you think about ChatGPT 4.0? Have you tried it yet? What do you think? Is it as powerful as they're hyping it up to be? How do you think that this is going to change the world around us? Let me know in the comments.